Hi, this is AC Blender Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to make a perfect sharp bend for Minecraft leg or arm. Here is a demo of what it is like. Notice with the red rectangle that the distance from the edge remains the same all the way throughout. That proves that we have a perfect sharp bend where the geometry is preserved as it bends. Okay, so let's go about how to make this. The first thing that you'll need, we'll just start out with our cube. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to align it to the grid. And before I start, I want to set it so the grid is divided into 16 subdivisions. That way, each one of these squares will represent one pixel on the Minecraft character. So, let me do a snap to, or selection to grid. That's Shift S to bring up that menu. We'll zoom out a little bit further so that it doesn't grab one of the smaller divisions. Okay, now it's just a matter of moving the sides <clears throat> to get the right size. Minecraft leg is 4 by 4 by 12. Okay, and then it goes up 12. Okay, so here is the Minecraft leg. Another thing I'm going to do is notice that the center of my object is right here. I don't want that to be the case. I want it to be up here by the thigh. So I'm going to select the whole thing in edit mode. Bring it down to the origin because I'm going to want the main origin point to be here. And I'm just going to go object. Let's see, transform. Uh, origin to 3D cursor. Now, there are several ways I could have done that. That's just the way I did it. Okay, now I'm going to create Control R and create a loop cut right in the middle of the leg. This is going to be the geometry that's going to deform. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is create an armature. So I'm going to add in an armature. And I want the armature to be going to the center where that bend was. I'm going to rename these just so I can keep track of them. Alright. So I have our armature. Now I'm going to parent the leg to the armature. I'm going to do it with empty groups. So now if I go in and I edit my leg, look at my uh, data tab, look at my vertex groups, I have shin and thigh. So let me go to weight, uh, weight paint mode and both of these should be completely empty. So for the shin, in my tool panel, I want the weight to be 1. I want to paint all four of the bottom vertices to be controlled by the shin. Now the rest I want controlled by the thigh. Now I don't have to use weight paint mode. I can select the vertices, have a weight of 1, and then assign. That can be a little bit tedious because you can't see what weights you already have assigned to what. So I prefer weight paint mode myself. Okay, so now let me turn on x-ray. Now I move this, it should 
move the armature and it looks good. Let me go into pose mode. Here we go. Okay, so here's a basic armature setup. Now, to make the bend work. First, let me define an axis. So let me add a constraint. I'm going to have a limit rotation constraint. Notice my x-axis is coming out of the screen this way. So this way should be a positive rotation. Notice I have it set to local axis for the bone. So I'm going to limit the y and the z to zero. I'll limit the x from zero to ninety. Oh, it looks like it's yes, can't be world space, has to be local space. In there it's working just fine. But now for the bend. Limit it to ninety because this will break past ninety. Uh, perhaps later I can go over things that you can do to keep the geometry looking decent after you pass ninety degrees, but for now it's just the sharp end. Okay, so select the object, go back into your data uh, context menu. Now, the very first thing that you want to do, you can't forget this, is you want to, I was just checking this since it's not bending from the front view, it's bending from the side that I set this up. So I'm going to do a, a uh, shape key. So you're going to want to select the leg, go into your shape keys and add one. This is your main your main shape. Now I have to add another one to modify it. And this I'm gonna name this bend. Now if you have multiple, if you have a really complex mesh, say all of your the parts of your body are in one mesh and you're having to do this you want to set up a vertex group up here just for the vertices involved in bending the leg and that way you don't get a lot of shape keys conflicting if you're changing the basis mesh actually let me just show you how that would work real quick I'll go into edit mode I'll select all my let's see the only vertices I'll be changing are going to be these middle four so to select those, create a new group, call it to bend, I'll assign these to it with a weight of 1, and now for the shape key, get out of edit mode, I can tell it to only affect the bend vertex groups. Okay, and just to show you that's working, if I go into the bend shape key and I grab so this vertice and I move it and then I go to apply the bend notice that it isn't affecting that vertice even though it technically should it did inside the shape key but it doesn't count so that's what that is so it can be helpful when you have a lot of things going on okay now for the bend I have these vertices controlled by the thigh bone. So when this bone moves, I need, in order to maintain this 90 degrees here, this point has to move up, this point has to move down. So what I'm going to do is I grab this point and I just move it down. Now, to make sure this is perfect, I'm going to turn on snapping. Uh, snapping is supposed to be on. Uh, zoom out a little bit more then. So now it's snapping. And you go down. On this one, you go up. Now, this isn't enough. And let me show you how this would work. The shape key activated here at 90 degrees. Notice it's still not enough. This point came down this amount. It's just not enough. This is doing some weird stuff in there. So what we're going to need to do is the way this works out is that it has to go down or up is f just as much as it is distance from the center of rotation. So rotating here 
it starts here, which means that it's two of these subdivisions out, or two Minecraft pixels out. So it has to go two Minecraft pixels down. So it, this one has to go down two, and this one has to go up two. You can tell you're good because the line should pass straight through the bend. Now, you'll notice it is perfect. But we have a problem. The shape key is not bending with the leg. So we'll need a driver for this. So we'll open up the graph editor. It's like drivers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the influence of this bend shape key. And I'm going to add a driver. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the driver. We're going to do scripted expressions. Now, because the scripted expression, this counts as a Python script. So that means that if you have auto execution for the scripts turned off, this driver won't work. So that's just something to keep in mind. Look at the variable that we're interested in is a transformation channel of our armature specifically of the chin, of the shin. So 0 degrees, 90 degrees. We'll be dealing with the X rotation and that was in local space. Well this is putting out something known as radians. It's not actually putting out in degrees. So if I were to move that and look at it again, you'll notice that with the debug info turned on, the Rotation is 1.571. Quotate parentheses 90 degrees. Well, this, if I type the var up here, is going to be this 1.571, not 90 degrees. I'm going to call it rotation just for ease. So when rotation is zero, we want the shape to be zero. That's already set up. But when this is pi divided by 2, we want the shape key to be 1. So the way I'm going to do that is just divide this by pi over 2. I hit enter. Now it applies it. And if we go down, you'll notice that it is applying the shape key, but it's not right it varies a little bit. You can see that it's not perfectly squared. This is the way you'll see most people setting it up. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to tweak the equation. This equation, for technical terms, is a linear interpolation. That doesn't work. What we're going to have to do is tangent a rotation divided by 2. This tangent is a mathematical trigonometric function, or trig function, and we're going to give it the rotation divided by 2. It wants the rotation in radians. We've got the rotation in radians, so it works out. So let's update the driver, and now we move this. It's perfect. It maintains the angle, and everything is good. Now this is if the rotation is down the middle of the leg. What if we don't want the rotation down the middle of the leg? What if we want the rotation to be in the front of the leg here? Well, now if we try to do it, it's not working anymore. Well, here's the way to fix it. We'll go back into our shape key. Go into edit mode. Notice that the line is not passing through the rotation point anymore. The reason why is because this vertex here is only one away from the rotation point now. So it only goes down one. This one is three away now, so it has to go up three. Now it works. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Have a wonderful day. If this helped you, please give a like. It'll help it get to other people so it can help them too. Thank you.